Hey guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory School of Marina. One of the questions I get asked by, especially guys and by all new students is, how do you get your mask to seal with all that fuzz on your face? And it, you know, it doesn't really matter whether I got a full beard or maybe it's just a goatee or just a mustache, and it doesn't really matter if it's if I'm clean shaven. Um, the easiest way to get a mask to seal properly is, first of all, make sure you have a mask that properly fits you. Now, if you're like me and you change throughout the year, you know, we just ended deer season and throughout deer season, I always grow out my Grizzly Adam beard here. Um, as soon as deer season's over, I usually shave it off and I just have a thin mustache and goatee. And, and it depends. Um, you know, I'm a public servant, so if I have to shave because I'm in uniform and whatnot, I'll go clean shaving if need be. Um, but one mask tends to work good for me. If it doesn't work for you, there's some other tips and tricks that I, I can give you to help get your mask to seal. Uh, we did a scuba tip of the week here about a year ago on this. And for guys who have real thick mustaches, one thing that you can do is just shave the top of it down a little bit or trim it out so that the, the mask skirt's going to fit real good. Uh, same thing if you got a beard like mine. And here on the side where the beard gets up underneath the skirt, uh, you may have to trim it down a little bit. Some other things, of course, is you can use chapstick or, or Vaseline to help seal the skirt. Wearing a hood really helps because when you put that hood up over the mask skirt, it's always going to keep it pulled in. Of course, you can tighten your mask up. That works real well. But like I said, the most important thing is having a mask that properly fits you. Now, if you do change your facial features a lot, you may not be able to find one mask that's going to work in every situation. Um, Mares makes three different uh, sizes of skirts. They have their Sunrise, which is designed for larger faces. They have their standard skirt that works for pretty much 80% of all other divers. And then they have their mid-frame. If you're fortunate enough like me, I can wear their standard or their mid-frame. So one thing I do in the summertime is I wear their standard when I don't have a lot of facial hair. And then in the wintertime, I swap over to the mid-frame because the mid-frame actually rides up just a little bit higher on the skirt or up here on my cheek with the skirt than what the standard does. So I'm, I'm able to wear the mid-frame and still get a good proper seal. But it's important that you always go in, try on masks before you buy them, make sure they fit you properly. If you're going to change facial features and you notice that your, your mask or if you're going to grow your beard out and you notice your mask is leaking, go back to your local dive shop, try on several different masks, ask if they have a try before you buy a program. You know, we believe dive masks are kind of like uh, vehicles. You're not going to go out and buy a new car or truck unless you get to drive it first. Same way. You want to go in, try on masks, make sure that they fit you properly before you just make your purchase. Um, so guys, that's what I do. I actually change masks depending on what type of facial features or facial hair I got at the time. Uh, it may or may not work for you. You may need to trim down your beard or your mustache line. You may even need to try the Vaseline or chapstick trick and see if that works for you. But whatever you do, make sure that you're comfortable. Make sure that you have a proper fitting mask. That's more important than anything else. Um, and if you're going to dive, you know, you may have to make the sacrifice to get rid of facial hair in certain areas. Um, but guys, that, that's what works for me. Hopefully it'll work for you. If not, if you got a different trick or tip there, put it down in the comments below. Let me know what works for you. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. Uh, as always, come back each week for new videos. If you got an idea or if you got a question for us, send it to us. We'll try to shoot a video on it. As always, make sure you follow us on Twitter. You like us on Instagram and Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.